Hello again everyone, it's Mr. Alperonin here again, and today I'm here with a breakdown for Kai Chisaki Overhaul. Um, overall... <laughs> overall I'd say Overhaul is a ranged control character. He has a lot of unusual moves that are really good at controlling the enemy from a distance. I wouldn't say he's a zoner per se, he doesn't have many what you would call a projectile. He has interesting long-ranged moves and cool combos. So I guess you could say he's a ranged control character, yeah, as I said. So getting into his buttons, his attack string is a five-hitting three-button attack string, so you just hit it three times and the last hit does a few hits. It can be dash cancelled after the last one and that's how you, you start most combos. For very easy, very gainable damage. Um, his tilt attack is a three hitting tilt attack. It's pretty fast, it has decent range, and it looks really cool. Um, it connects off to this, and you can use that to cancel to some of his zoning things to get them set up, and then we'll set up into this, and we'll get to those later. Um, his air string is a two hitting bounce cancel cancelable attack, so no matter how high in the air you are, you can always cancel his two hitting air string into one of his quirks and continue a combo from there. Um, yep, his quirk one. Looks like it's a trap from there, but as you saw before, from back, further back, it's almost like a humongous shotgun radius that covers so much of the screen. If the there are places where it'll miss, so I think if I stand maybe about here, yeah. So the opponent can't stand in the gaps, but I don't. It's not something that they can do intentionally or easily. So it's very large. It only hits on the ground. And, as you can see, when it hits them, it puts them into this trap state for such a long time. Like, you can hit them from anywhere, and then run in, and continue a combo, which is pretty amazing. So, like, you can be over here... Oh, I got a combo! <laughs> so, yeah, he's an amazing, amazing zoner, but a lot of his zoning tools actually allow him to get in. Um, in the air, this button is Quirk 1. It is almost like a ground pound. It goes down and then makes more rock stuff, rock spikes. And, similar to Stain's level 1, this crumble state that you in can actually be comboed off of. It seems like it's a combo ender, but it's definitely a combo extender. See, if I do the two hits in the air, cancel into quirk 1, I can do more hits afterwards. It's really great. Um, his quirk 2 is this grab. It's not an unblockable grab, but it's a grab. It does really good damage, 4000 damage, into a debuff on the opponent. Um, I've tested quite a lot of things, but I can't find out what the debuff actually does. If anyone can tell me in the comments, please do. Um, his quirk 2 behaves the same in the air. And on the ground, he has a tilt quirk 2, which is... Something I can't really find a use for, it's just an unusual slap move. <laughs> it just sends them flying, does a lot of damage. You can't cancel into it, you can only cancel into the grab. So, I can't quite see what is the point of this move. Um, anyways, that's all of his buttons. As you can see here, his run speed, speed, run speed is pretty decent. Um, normal jumps, average walking. Uh, better than his upgraded self. Well, that is so slow. Um, but yeah, that's all of his buttons. Now, time for the combos. So, let's just get into it. His bread and butter that you will see me use whenever I'm fighting online is his attack string, dash cancel into his air attack string, his quirk one into attack, attack, attack. Or, for a little more damage and a little more um, 
plus frames when they get knocked down. I'll go one, two, three, dash cancel is one, two, into this, and then one, two, into armor move, because that doesn't do a, a meteor blow, so you can set up your other projectiles like this. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I showed you his quirk one, but his, he also has a quirk two, obviously. Which is where it touches the ground and then a spike comes up wherever the opponent is, and you can continue it to do two extra strikes, and it does this long ranged combo, which is pretty amazing. Um, and in the air. Oh, not that one. In the air, if you tap his quirk one, it does this, like, shotgun rock thing, which is really good if. Especially when you have a 100% deck who, like, charging at you from the air constantly. Just throw this out, it'll hit them out of the sky and hit them to the ground. It's just really good for when people are um, doing like this at you constantly. They jump and then go, ooh, and then no, oh, and then charge at you so many times you just jump back. Oh, don't do that. That's very punishable. Jump back and throw this. It's very good. And you can hold the button down and it throws one projectile that juggles them for quite a while so it makes a rock on the ground and then they bounce off of it possibly and then you can get something afterwards okay now back to his combos i'll reshow his bread and butter here into this into the one Oop, one two on the move sorry so attack attack Attack, dash cancel, attack, attack, work one, attack, attack, um, it does 8,000, sometimes um, 9,000 if you get um, two hits from, not that, if you get the two hits from this, instead of one like I just got before, here I'll see if I can show it again, see I only got one hit there. But sometimes you can do 9,000, which is pretty good damage for um, a one dash cancel combo. And after this, I like to start doing some of his projectiles, since some of them are quite slow. So, yeah, after the armor move, you can jump back and do this one. Oh, not that. <laughs> do one of these, do one of these, and yeah, just set up for his other things. Um, if you don't have any meter, I think the best combo that you can probably do is probably just two hits into his grab. That does a pretty decent amount of damage, 5,300. Yeah, you're not going to get that much without Mito with Overhaul. Um, on the note of combos, he does have quite an issue with the Meteor Blow mechanic, and if you haven't seen from my other videos, a Meteor Blow is what happens when you do too many, I guess you could say, combo starting or combo extending moves in one turn. So for Overhaul, his base string, the spikes at the end, is counts to his Meteor Blow build up. His air string, the second hit, the bounce, adds to his um, uh, Meteor Blow build up. The grab from this adds to it. Um, I think that's it. So, I'll demonstrate what that means. I can't do too many of these. See, I can only do three in a combo for, and it'll meet your blow. So you can't do things for very long, So, including this one. And then that would be very near the end of my combo ability. So you could go. And see, this last hit here will meteor blow. So just make sure you don't use too many of his combo extenders, or else. Oh. <laughs> You'll get a meteor blow and you won't be able to wall splat. Overhaul is actually pretty good at getting wall splats if you use his armor move. You see that? that wasn't an optimal combo at all. Just so you know. But yeah, if you use his armor move at the right time, you'll get a wall splat. 
um, for combos. He's one of the rare characters that can like do proper combos from a distance. So see what this move. How it? Oops, that missed. Then it does the cage thing. You can do two or three of them in a row if you want. See, I can do one, two, three, and then that media blows. But from like almost full. So far away, I got 5,700 damage for no meter, which is pretty good if you catch them off guard and then they've lost a lot of life. And you can do a bit more damage if you do one, two, and into his tilt quirk combo, and there's 6,400. So you do two of these, and then you, instead of doing a third one, you go into this. And then that does a lot of damage, and you're like absolutely full screen. Wow, and it can even wall spot. I didn't even know that. Um, for combos, since he gets limited by the meteor blow at the end, sometimes instead of ending the combo, I like to go for a reset. So after I go one, two. I'll do two hits into a. Oh. <laughs> Usually they don't run straight back to the center like Shigaraki is right now, but a lot of the time after you do the two hits from the combo, they're going to be blocking. So I go for an armor move and then start this whole process all over again. And sometimes I could go for this and. Yeah, just do a bunch of mix-ups, because you're not going to get that much damage after you've done how much will it be. You're not losing that much damage after doing 7,500, so you may as well try and go for some interesting mix-up or re-stand. mix-up after that? Um, his plus ultra one, you can use like at the end of his bread and butter combo, which is pretty good. So you do this, and then two hits into it, and that does a pretty decent amount of damage. Thirteen thousand three hundred. Wow, it's actually even better than I realized. And obviously his plus ultra two works the same way. So if you wanted to, one, two, three, one. I stand corrected. <laughs> Why did that miss? Anyways, a side note on his plus ultra too. If you've gotten them in one of these combos of these, you can cancel into a plus ultra too and get a full plus ultra two combo from like full screen, which is pretty crazy. And that's pretty amazing damage for a combo that you've done from halfway across the map. Um, so, summary on Overhaul's combos. You basically always want to do this bread and butter into this, which is a reset. And you can either choose to do the reset or not, or finish the string. It'll give you a bit more damage if you finish the string. I usually, if I don't want to do a reset, I will go one, two, into this, into attack, attack, armor move, because then I'm pretty plus, and I can start with these projectiles and just get it, get it all going. Um, with zoning. You know, stay back, use these things, they can be pretty block plus if they block it. And if you ever catch them, they're in the air trying to jump against... Because a lot of the time when you're doing this, they jump into the air to avoid it, which makes sense. It's, it's a fair reaction, I would too. Just whenever you think they're going to jump, just jump in the air, and then start his air combo. Which can be pretty crazy damage, so one... Eight thousand damage for catching them for jumping. 
and one dash cancel is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think that's about it for Overhaul. You know, he's just a really fun, interesting long range character. A lot of ones like Toga and other zonas are pretty boring, you know, like with projectiles and stuff, but Overhauls are just so interesting, like with the scatter one. And then this three hitting rock string is just it's just really great. It's really fun to and people just aren't ready for it. The more one seems to be using overhaul online, I've realized. So, look, we've gotten Yeah, no one seems to be using overhaul hole online, so no one's ready for your crazy pressure on block like <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you're doing your zoning, you're doing your restands. He's just really fun and he's, he's just good at everything and oh, everything he does looks just so satisfying with all the spikes and... Uh, sorry, I've gone on a long tangent here at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.